Hello everyone, in this video I'll be taking a look at Bodhi Linux version 6, which is based on Ubuntu 20.04 and comes with the Moksha desktop. Now the Moksha desktop is a bit of a rare breed of desktop, it is very lightweight, but also very well themed and comes with a lot of widgets, although I use the name widgets, but uh, uh, okay, let's call it modules and gadgets instead, using their terminology. So yeah, there's quite a few different themes pre-installed, Although I should mention I've installed the app pack version of the distro, which does come with a lot of additional themes and software pre-installed. The Moksha Arc Green is the default theme for the desktop, and as you can see it is quite a drastically different theme for all the menus, the gadgets, and yeah, it's the applications as well. So yeah, let's go and open an application. You can see the close, minimize, maximize buttons will change with the theming. But what I do have to say with this theme though, they've included a custom icon theme, which doesn't cover all the pre-installed applications, so that is a little bit disappointing there. I will accept that I've installed some applications myself, that is Cadian Live and Inkscape, but yeah, I mean, that is disappointing that you can see that it would have GIMP pre-installed, which has the icon, but not Inkscape. So bit of a lack of consistency there really and there's also a lack of consistency on the mouse as well for example they're opening the browser chromium we've got the basic mouse theme I don't necessarily mean to pick holes in these things but this is quite a glaringly obvious thing especially when you have one of the themes with quite a drastically different mouse cursor let's take moksha sunshine for example yeah Nice mouse cursor there, but open up Chromium, yeah, not so good there. Maybe I'm too picky sometimes, but theming and consistency and look and feel is very important between the different desktops, because that is about all you can judge sometimes. When all these things just function, then you do have to start looking at usability, what they're going to be like to use long term, and depending on the theming of this, it could get a little bit annoying, but hey, if you're the sort of person who's not bothered by it, then just ignore what I'm saying. Well, it's not like it's the Snap version of Chromium either. This distro doesn't support Snaps. You don't even have that excuse on your side. I have to laugh at this bling theme almost. It, it really is quite well exaggerated. Looks good though. I'll give it that. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's just simplify things. I'm gonna stick with uh, the Moksha Japan theme. These mouse cursors don't look too glaringly obvious here. When I use the left mouse click on the desktop, it brings up the menu here, which you can launch applications, switch to different places. You've got a quick launcher, which you can search for applications here. So uh, let's go for Cadian Live. Yep, find that. And I can open Cadian Live, searching for applications in menus quite often through different operating systems, different desktops. So yeah, it has the feature here in Bodhi, but just not through the sort of main application launcher. There's also the roots of settings. As you've seen, I've changed the theming. The shelves refers to the panel, which like at the bottom of the screen, so you can add different, you can add additional shelves or panels. You can also move their position around the screen. Uh, there's a couple of different ways I can do that. So I can just, use the orientation here, or I could have gone to the settings and changed the position that way. You can also do the different customization with putting the applications above, below. So yeah, again, a lot of flexibility here. Looking further at the modules that are available, so you can see quite a range there. You've got the system, the system, you can put a memory widget on the desktop. I, I did have this at one point, but it's, <laughs> Not very clear to read, really. Not very clear to read at all. I can change the look of the desktop, so I can put a flame on the desktop if I wanted. Rain. It rains all the time in Wales. I can, try, I can see outside, so I don't need to see that on my computer as well. Penguins. Yay, little penguins floating around and you can catch them and let them drop down and they walk around the screen and do stuff. I've got five here, 
maybe I could think, ooh, five's not enough, that's boring. Let's change it up a bit. Uh, let's put more penguins down here. And yeah, you can have uh, up to, uh, well, 200 penguins uh, if you wanted. But it gets a little bit much. A bit too distracting, perhaps. So yeah, 70 penguins running around the screen. You've got options here. You don't have to use these things, but they're available. And yeah, there's lots of different settings. Uh, the world of virtual desktops. You can see the shortcut there on the right hand side to change between different virtual desktops. So as I say, just because this is lightweight doesn't mean it is lacking features or is boring. You can have a tiling desktop. They're using the Funar file manager now, and one of the features of Funar is to be able to hide the menu. Now I noticed when I did this that uh, the shortcut to get it back again would be Control and M. So Control and M, uh, whoops, that just resizes the application. So I did notice this, and I think I tried to unload that shortcut, but I failed and now I can't get the menu bar back. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way of doing this, but yeah, it's one of these things I accidentally did and now I can't get the menu back. <laughs> Whoops. Never mind. Anyway, I'm mentioning theming again. I've got likes of EPUB files and CSVs lacking a decent icon set, or maybe PHP as well. Okay, EPUB, maybe they're not so common if you don't have books on your system. CSVs? Come on, you've got XLS. Why not just use the same icon for CSV? Yeah, I don't know really. Perhaps I'm overthinking these things sometimes. Double clicking on the application title bar rolls it up. But what I find is the sort of the movement of the application and sort of positioning of it doesn't seem quite so intuitive as I would used to. You know, I think dragging it around to the edge of the desktop would maximize it to like half or quarter of the screen so it's just a difference in behavior to what i'm used to really when you open up chromium you have this quick start guide so we've got some bit about the basics yeah using the virtual desktops it's a bit about the module gadgets oh yeah shading that's what they call rolling up the application so if you want it out of the way but sort of still available uh, there's a little bit about keyboard shortcuts. Control Alt and Space brings up the quick launcher. Got Control Alt and M brings up the main menu. And there's a few other shortcuts listed there. And yeah, you can change the bindings. There's also a bit of a software installer as well. So installing software. Uh, there's a few things here in the list. Uh, what have they got? They got mentioned about the Snap, Flatpak, and App Image. In an effort to move away from platform specific packaging methods to platform agnostic ones, several new tools for packaging, distributing, and installing software have been developed. Most noteworthy are Snap, Flatpak, and App Image. These are not supported by default in Bodhi. Please see our wiki for complete instructions on using these tools. <laughs> okay. Very specific. Well, Flatpak did work. You know, our Flatpak run Inkscape. So Flatpak works. I know I'm not making best use of it there, but just proves the point, it works. Snaps though, yeah, that is disabled. Anyway, uh, sorry, I was mentioning about installing software. Maybe I've gone to the wrong page. I know there is a little bit of a software installer though. There we go, App Center. And let's have a little look here. So, okay, we'll take Gwenview, go on. I just want to install something just to show it working. And that opens an app URL, which you can install, is it through Synaptic? Yes, that opens up Synaptic to carry out the install. So not a bad option for making a basic software installer for helping out new users. And have I got, no, I was trying to do a search here. So we've gone quick launcher, Gwenview, there you are. So it works. Well, that was a look at Bodhi Linux version 6. So you get a lot for quite a small memory footprint, probably a lot more than you expect for such a lightweight distribution. The only thing I find difficult really is the actual usage of it. It 
doesn't seem quite so intuitive as I found other Linux desktops, or as much as I hate to say it, not so intuitive as I find using Windows. But it is usable, and it is something I think you can get used to. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.